So for example, um, we will start a new wizard. Uh, it'll be a uh, step tool wizard. Okay, same, the same thing as we just discussed before. Uh, up top you have all the uh, wizard pages that you can jump to. Again, now we can do nmil type ends. Um, do a three flute, for example. Uh, again, we're going to probe the profile on this particular tool. Then from here, we're going to fit the blank to the profile. Then from here, now a couple things that are different if, if you've used the, the step, uh, step tool wizard before. Now we can actually edit the diameters directly on this page. So for example, we'll do a 375 into a 3 quarter. So now you can actually adjust the diameters of the tool right there without having to go to the next page and have to do it. So that'll give you an idea of what your, what your tool looks like. Okay, so uh, what we'll do is instead of importing an entire DXF here, what we'll do is when we go to the next step, what we can do is instead of doing a straight step, we'll go directly into the form step, import a DXF, and now we can bring in just the step itself. So what we did is we created a DXF profile of that step and just imported that step individually. Uh, Again, we can make adjustments to the step length. Uh, we, can add, um, we can add undercuts if we need to. In this case, I'll add a undercut. And then from there, we can tell it what the, the length of the major diameter is. And then we'll go on to the fluting. Like, men, like Simon had mentioned before, we can do different types of fluting. From there, what we'll do is we'll actually flute the pilot out on this particular tool. So you'll see here, we have the main flute, and then we also have the pilot flute. This will allow you to control the rake at the, at the smaller diameters. Really what you're going to do is when you have a, for example, a 3 8 uh, pilot to, let's say, a 1-inch diameter major, obviously the rake at the bottom, if you're fluting it only one time, is going to be uh, negative, uh, actually grossly negative. So being able to flute the pilot out allows you to control what the cutting integrity is of that pilot. Okay, and again, like Simon mentioned before, we have different methods of, of clearing diameters. Uh, for example, on this one, we'll, we'll do it as a primary and secondary. If you want facets, you can do so. If you want a cylindrical margin, you can do so. Same thing on the, on the step. You can do axial radio cam relief. If you want facets, you can do so. Uh, for example, back here, I don't want to do any, any kind of uh, OD on the end, so we'll, we'll just tell it not to do From that. there, it will automatically create the program. Okay, then from there, uh, oh, sorry, I may have backwards. Let me go. Actually, I can use the feature of editing the step. Get out. Bring that in one time. Do an step. Do length. Step to Again, we can increase our here. used to work on a keyboard. All right. Okay, again, we're going to flute the pilot. Second, passive, passive. I think I entered the back diameter as a negative. Anyway, so again, what we're able to do is you can see here now the pilot being that it's, it is a lot smaller than the major, now you have the rake necessary to, to, to actually have this pilot as a cutting diameter. Um, like we mentioned before, we're able to control washout. Um, in this particular case, the washout is going to come in automatically. Uh, you can edit these features. 
for example, the washout radius in this one is uh, a little under uh, 3, uh, 325, so we can, we can adjust the radius size there. We can also adjust how much arc that it washes out at. So if you want, if you want it to, uh, to arc out all the way, you can add, make it arc out all the way. Okay, now, like I mentioned before, and Simon mentioned before, if you want to make adjustments to the step itself, if you want to change the length of the step, uh, you can simply go in to here. That will automatically take you to the step geometry. Uh, like before, you have to go into the wizard and literally click through a bunch of pages. So and the nice feature is if you're on step one and you select that menu, it will automatically go to step one. So you can go in, make an adjustment to that step length and finish and it will automatically adjust that step length back. So if you want to make an adjustment to a step length, if you want to make an adjustment to any kind of uh, step type geometry, the form, the length, uh, if you want to put an end chamfer on it and you forgot to add it, you can go into it. Okay. All right.